Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatic channel. Here today, in front of the lens, we have an unreleased Riot, the T1. The build's design cues are styled after a Japanese quaken, which the entire blade retracts into the handle when in the closed position, leaving a nice little footprint. Coming in with a handle length of 4.5 inches, the blocky style neutral scales provide more than enough finger room in all grips, and all the edges have been heavily chamfered, leaving every surface smooth. Although it's my favorite clip design, the ceramic insert's tension was way too high, so I had to bend it back to a floating position to really be functional. The steel hardware, while it lasts longer, is a bit lackluster, and the pivot is pretty boring. But I did try and add some pop by giving them a mirror polish, which before, they were just a dull gray working finish. The build is made to mimic an integral, with a single seam running up the closed off spine side. The integrated lanyard hole starts on the top side and ends on the rear of the handle. The T1's only means of deploy is the 90 degree angle flipper tab, which honestly, I'm not fond of at all for a few reasons. First, the tab's angle only allows for the push button method to work. Due to its angle and pitch of the tab's flat surface, the flip can be a little rough. And you can pull off a light switch by using your nail, which is so irritating, you probably do it once and be done. Next, the body design isn't that wide, and it's very easy to ride the lock bar, making the tab use very uninviting. And after slipping off a few times, or flipping it with added resistance, it becomes even more irritating. This being the same tab and design off the Riot Hawk, if anyone here owns and knows the Hawk, the tab sucks if you ride the lock bar or slip off. Once you get past that, the action, well it's a Riot, so the action is pure butter, and the audible is even better. Probably because it's two slabs of tie that are closed off down the spine side, the sound is amplified, but it's very unique and extremely loud in a good way. The T1 sports a Japanese style Tanto, and the blade still is M390 with a satin belt finish. Although I honestly believe Riot is one of the best at doing this in production finishes, it's getting so boring it's making me drowsy. Like yes on my first Riot, awesome. On my second, still nice, but fourth, seventh, tenth, every one I've ever seen, sheesh. It's getting a bit out of hand. Coming in with a length of three and a half inches and sporting a compound flat grind up front at the belly and a hollow grind along the flat edge of the blade. For me and my knife use, the compound saved the blade. Otherwise, I believe it would be a bit dainty, and the blade isn't that wide, so the tip is needed. As far as the fuller, I really don't know or see the purpose for it. I love a fuller that is functional, but just to be there to collect gunk and dust isn't a plus. A flickable version of the T1 would be fire. But being a Quaken style folder, well, you know the deal. Lock disengagement, similar to the tab deployment, isn't inviting, especially if you are unfamiliar with the build. Again, identical to the Riot Hawk in this area, both end and pointy edges. With an overall weight of 4.6 ounces, this being the full tie that has been milled out and 8 inches in length, the T1 has a great look, the flipper tab can be better, and the clip is definitely an issue. The lock disengagement is pretty sharp, and the decorative fuller is a shot directly at me. No, I'm just kidding. The action, fit and finish, other than the clip, is good. The design, although, is kind of boring, and it's not bad. I just think with a few tweaks, it could be worlds better. And for instance, use the Lee Williams kickstop tab, because the tab in the open position just kills the entire quaking look. And that's really a first time for me saying I don't like a flipper tab. I just think the entire scheme would be complete with a ghosted flipper tab or a kickstop. And aesthetically, the handle is a square and circle mix, round edges meeting flat top and bottom sides. But then you go and slap two big pointy objects, triangles on the other end, the pivot and the tab, making this thing look more like a baby chick from the side profile. Which Riot could have implicated a rounded top flipper, like the Concept Knives Humdinger or whatever that thing is called, and a nice round button pivot. This is a Riot and great quality, but I would just love to see some design changes before it hits the market. And what are your thoughts on the T1 by Riot Knives? Comment down below and share the content. Plus, hit the like button and sub to the channel for more knife vids. Signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.